Good morning. My name is Harry Craighead, a bond servant of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we welcome you to the Feeding House Ministries, a teaching ministry that focuses on your soul and your eternal destination. Today we're going to talk about law, ordinance, ch charge, a rule to be strictly observed. Those principles that humans must heed and follow. We're talking about commandments. Mm. Satan is ever seeking to interject or inject his poison into our hearts to distrust God's goodness, especially in connection with God's commandments. True Christian love is the highest commandment and fulfills all the commandments of God. Yes. Faith, as Paul saw it, was a living, flaming thing to surrender in obedience to the commandments of Christ. Those that disobey the commandments of God do so foolishly for themselves. Yes. Sin is folly, and sinners are the greatest fools. Mm. Holiness has become relative in our day, allowing us to lower the bar and pick and choose which commandments we will obey. Yes. Many people have a spiritual longing and desire to really change, but they don't know how. And to take with us, the new, Christ, the new life in Christ evokes love, not only makes the commandments the rule of life, but the life itself, the free expression of the commandments and the nature of God in which the commandments are grounded. Amen. God's commandments are first and for, foremost, first of all, prescriptions or directions of God concerning particular matters which he wanted observed with reference to circumstances as they arose in a period when he spoke immediately and with greater frequency than afterwards, starting stating God's universal timeless standard of right and wrong. The Psalms, especially Psalm 119, show that even under the Old Testament, there was a deep spiritual appreciation of God's commandments. And the extent to which obedience was deemed a privilege rather than a matter of constra constrained external compliance with duty. We can learn from how the Israelites traveled and camped as God guided them. When you follow God's guidance, you know where God wants you, whether you are moving or staying in one place. You are physically somewhere right now. Yes. Instead of praying, God, what do you want me to do next? Ask God, what do you want me to do while I am right here? Mm. Direction from God isn't just for your next big move. It has a purpose, he has a purpose in placing you where you are right now. Begin to understand God's purpose for your life by discovering what he wants you to do right now. Yes. God's commandments can be kept. Abraham, in essence, kept God's commandments, decrees, and laws. Even before these had been revealed through Moses, Moses apparently living by faith. The godly love, live, and believe in God's commandments, for they contain precious and enlightening truth that make one wise. The wise follow godly commandments as a guiding light and keep God's commandments in view of impending judgment. Keeping the commandments remains imperative and Christians are those who obey God's commandments, especially the command of faith in Christ and love of brother. Mm. Through Jesus' atonement, 
humans are pardoned and the enmity between Jews and Gentiles created by the Old Testament commandments is removed. Perhaps by abolishing the ceremonial aspects of the law and by removing Gentile by empowering Gentile Christians to obey the law of Christ. Whoever does not keep God's commandments has not come to know God. Too many people are a God unto themselves and have set themselves up as God. The problem with this, other than the fact that it's just not true, is you can never rise above yourself. Amen. Loving one another is a commandment from God. He commands us to do two things. To believe in the name of his son Jesus and to love one another. Amen. If you have already believed, now we also should love. God gave us this love and he also gave us the commandment to love. God first gave this love and then gave us the commandment to love one another. Yes. Today we must love one another according to God's commandments. We must also love one another with the love which God has given us. We must ex exercise the love which God has put into us. We must apply it according to nature. We sh should not quench it or hurt it. We're commanded to love and commissioned to serve. Question is, how deep is your love? Do you love Jesus enough to serve? Amen? Amen.